In which quadrant does the following system contain a solution? Now we're talking about solution, we're talking about where these lines hit each other. I'm going to simply rewrite this second one as y is equal to, I'm going to add 1 to both sides, 1 half x minus 2 plus 1. So we have this here, and then we have this here. Now the two y values, uh, they're essentially equals to each other, so we're going to set this equals to that in order to find the solution. So we have 2x plus 1 is equals to this one here, which is 1 half x, I'm, I'm using distribution, minus 2 times a half is going to be minus 1 plus 1. That's this part here, and these cancel out. I'm going to multiply both sides here by 2, so we end up with 4x plus 2 is equals to 1 half times 2 is simply 1, so we have x. And then I'm going to subtract both sides by x. So we get 3x. I'm going to move the 2 over. It becomes negative 2. And finally, x is equals to divide both sides by 3, negative 2 thirds. So negative 2 thirds is going to be the x value. Now once we have the x value, we can find the y value by plugging this x value into either one of the equations. We'll just plug it into equation number 1. So here, focusing on equation number 1, y is equal to 2x plus 1, we have the x value here. So we have y is equal to 2, negative 2 thirds plus 1, which is equals to negative 4 over 3 plus 3 over 3, since 3 over 3 is essentially the same thing as 1. So now this here is equals to, we have a common denominator, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So the actual coordinate is going to be my x comma y value, which is negative 2 thirds comma negative 1 third. If we're talking about the actual quadrants, this here is quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. So an x value of negative 2 thirds is going to be going this way, negative. And then a y value of negative 1 third is going to go down. So the quadrant is going to be in quadrant 3, definitely going to be over here somewhere. So the answer here is C.